Before we get into today's video guys, please make sure to scroll down, smash that red subscribe button, also make sure to ring that bell icon so you can stay up to date with all my amazing Minecraft videos. Hey guys, welcome back to another video with your main man, Smooth Mark, and in today's video we're going to be heading to the absolutely um amazing spongebob squarepants dimension that's right guys and i am super excited that we're heading to the spongebob squarepants dimension because i absolutely love spongebob i also love patrick and i especially love squidward <laughs> And I like making the Squidward voice. But everything that we're going to be using to head to the Spongebob Squarepants Dimension is in my inventory, guys. So let me just go ahead and tell you guys what we're going to be using. So what we're going to be using first is we're going to be using sponges. We're also going to be using brown wool. And that's just to make the frame. And then we're going to be using a flint and still to light it up. It is going to be amazing, guys. So let's go ahead and let's get right into it. So the first thing we have to do is we first have to make the frame. So let's just go ahead and grab our sponge and place two of these on the ground just like that. Now we can just go ahead and grab our brown wool and place one of these on each side of our sponge just like that right there, guys. Now we can just go ahead, run, and jump on up, grab our sponge, and place three of these on this side with one brown wool right on top. Now we can just go ahead and jump on down, son of a sheep. That really hurt. And wow, there's a lot of sheep. I hope they didn't hear me say that. Because they might try to beat me up. But let's go ahead and finish building this frame. So now we just have to go ahead and snatch our sponge. And place three of these on this side. And then place two smack dab right in the middle. And then place one brown wool right on the edge guys. Now we are completely done building the frame. So now we can do the fun part guys. Which is run and on down and take a look at our amazing frame we just created guys that really does look amazing and thankfully i did it right <laughs> thankfully i did it right <laughs> because i could have really messed that up if i built it wrong but now it's time after we have built the frame to do the amazing part which is light it up with our flint and still guys this is going to be so amazing. So let's go ahead and let's light this baby up. Boom. Oh my God, guys. That looks so amazing. You know what? It's time. It's time to head into the SpongeBob SquarePants dimension. I hope I get to meet up with Squidward and maybe even touch his nose. Oh my god, guys, if Squidward lets me touch his nose, I'll probably just die right there on the spot, but wow, this is the dimension, and right here's the crusty crab. I wonder if Spongebob or Squidward's working. No, it looks empty, but this is usually where Squidward would be. He'd just be sitting here like, I hate my life, I hate this job, and I especially hate Spongebob. Yeah, he, he's a crybaby. <laughs> he really is. I'm surprised he hasn't got fired yet. But let's go ahead and see if Spongebob's back here in the kitchen. And no, he's not back here in the kitchen. He isn't in the freezer either. Although one time he did get stuck in the freezer. <laughs> it was actually pretty sad. Because he, he turned into basically like a snowman. But let's go ahead and let's head on over to their homes. Because they're probably definitely in their homes. Whose home should we head to first? You know what? We should probably head to Patrick's. Then Squidward's. Then Spongebob's. 
That's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and let's see if Patrick's home. What am I saying? He's always home. Patrick? I guess he's not home. Is there anything inside these chests? There's nothing, but right here's where he watches TV all day, guys. That's all he does. All day, he just watches his favorite cartoons. I wonder if he ever watches my YouTube channel. He probably does. He probably watches and he's like, ha, ha, ha. That smooth marky's so funny. Let me throw some eggs at my TV. Oh, we actually hatched a chicken. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny, guys. But it's also kind of sad that I broke 16 eggs and I only got one baby chicken. Okay, bye chicken. If Patrick shows up, yeah, you're going to be his new pet. <laughs> Patrick's going to be like, chicken? Hmm? He might eat it. Who knows? <laughs> but right here is Woodward's house, guys. And wow, it is amazing. It's so clean. Well, his table's not so clean because I, I was stepping all over. I'm so sorry, Squidward. If you ever see this video, please don't hate me. But let's see what's up here. I'm hoping Squidward's up here. <gasps> it is Squidward. And wow, his nose is even bigger in person. Like, looking at it right now, like, when I seen you on TV, I thought your nose was big. But not, like, huge. Like, it is huge. I gotta touch it. Can I touch it? Okay, I'm gonna touch it. <gasps> I'm speechless. I am speechless right now. But right here's his bed, guys. This is where he sleeps. I know he's a little shy right now. But that's just because he probably don't know who I am. And I was also coming at him like a maniac trying to touch his nose. So it's understandable. <laughs> it's definitely understandable, but wow, I really, really love his house. Let's go ahead and let's check out SpongeBob's house now. Look at that house, guys. That is amazing. I want to live in a pineapple. If I ever found a way to make a pineapple big enough for me to live in, I would. I would live in it. Wow, this place is amazing. This is where SpongeBob sits down and watches his TV. And then Gary sat next to him. And he's like, Gary, you are going to take your bath. And you are going to like it. But Gary never takes his bath, so it, it doesn't matter. What does this say? SpongeBob ride? Wow, that seemed pretty fun. <gasps> he tricked me. He tricked me. Oh my god, I'm trapped in here now. How am I going to get out? Can I break this? Oh, thank god, guys. There's a there's a lever back here. I thought I was going to be trapped in here forever. That that is so savage. You know what? That was probably set up for plankton. I bet it was, guys. I bet it was set up for Plankton. This must be where he keeps all of his food and all of Gary's food. Let's go ahead and let's head on up the staircase. And <gasps> I am such a huge fan, SpongeBob. I absolutely love you. I have watched every single one of your episodes. And I have even watched your video on how to make Krabby Patties. And I gotta be honest with you, I still suck at making Frabby Patties. Nobody can do it like you. Nobody can do it like you, but wow, guys, look at his room. Right here's his bed. Right here's Geary's bed and Geary's food bowl. This is amazing. You know what? I'm gonna do a cannonball. I'm gonna do a cannonball right into SpongeBob's bed. Cannonball! <gasps> That is so amazing. Right here's his alarm clock. I really need to get an alarm clock. Because I've been sleeping in lately. I might have to take SpongeBob's alarm clock. <laughs> He's always on time, guys. I wish I could be as professional as SpongeBob. 
you know what? I just wish I could turn myself into SpongeBob. And then that would make me Sponge Marky? That actually sounds pretty good. Well, I love your place, SpongeBob. I'm going to go ahead and head back down so we can all get one more view of the outside of all of their houses. Look at this, guys. This dimension is absolutely amazing. Look at Squidward's nose on his house. It's huge, too. I mean, not as huge as his real nose on his face, but it's still pretty huge. I absolutely love this dimension, guys. And we are definitely going to have to come back to this dimension someday to look over the entire thing, guys. The theme park and everything. Let me know if you guys would like to see that down in the comment section below. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, which I know you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, smash that red subscribe button. And until next time, Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.